folks, I normally do not uh, make videos in English. We're proud of being a German language uh, Horus Heresy channel, but in this case, uh, out of courtesy for the people who made these models, I'm going to make an English version uh, in addition to the German one. So here's an unboxing of the uh, Saturnine uh, Terminators from Heresy Lab which you may have uh, seen advertised on Facebook. Uh, so these arrived from Italy. I have been in contact first with her boyfriend. I, I still don't know what his name is because he never signed his emails with his name. It was a very friendly contact. And uh, with Anita, um, who actually, uh, as far as I understood it, designed these nice models, which we're now going to uh, unbox. So here's a nice box made with love. Apparently you have to be 60 <laughs> uh, to look at these. Um, I haven't opened the box yet. I just removed the plastic wrapping. So now we can look in here. So let's see what we have. There's a Heresy Lab high quality resin miniatures and oh. <laughs> 20% off my next order. Use the code. Uh, so here we go. Um, I'll leave my thumb on that and maybe I'll blur it. Um, so that's that. Um, apparently they also have a Kickstarter. And here are the models. So we have uh, black beveled bases, which are such nice, but which I'm going to exchange for the regular Games Workshop bases for Heresy. Now we can look at the models. Um, it's the first one, randomly taken out. Um, so these are cast in resin. I thought they would be 3D printed, but they're not. Um, and a bit closer. Looking pretty good, I would say. Uh, for Horus Heresy, gotta remove the purity seals, but otherwise I think I might paint these up for my Imperial Fists. No, I'm not sure yet, but that looks convincing. There's also, I think, maybe something like an Inquisition symbol, which has to go as well. But the detail is stunning, I would say. It's really good. Let's look at the other items. Here we have a sword, which is a bit thick, but looking very good it's straight nothing to be changed very nice okay, again a purity seal oops i hit the camera and here's one of the arms with the huge shoulder pads i know that uh normally we would say that the saturnine armor has uh unmoving shoulder pauldrons but um i think well, let's hope that they, they're going to retcon it at one point. If they don't, you could <coughs> possibly, I suppose, glue them on straight and still get a decent pose out of these. So, very nice. That's number one. Let's look at the next one. Uh, ah, that's the one with the plasma cannon. Again, um, this is really nicely picking up that that uh, rogue traders terminator feeling of the of the uh, first pretty much first terminators that that were released again very nice models great detail um, I don't think I can use the plasma cannon um, in heresy unless uh, we probably start making extra rules for these again the the casting is sort of crisp but here we have a quite a big mold slip on that one uh, in comparison to the other one which was almost slip free but nothing you can't repair and there's a cabling going with the gun <coughs> yeah, um, so I'll put these back into the bags so that I won't mix up the parts all right so that's that one. One more. And altogether there are five. Uh, 
Um, I might try to getting back to this one. I might actually remove the gun and oh, we'll see. Um, here's another one just with the bolter and the power fist. Also pretty nice. Um, I really like how the helmets are inside of the armor. Um, and size-wise these are a bit taller than the regular cataphracty terminators. So and here the combi bolter. Um, probably maybe it's a storm bolter. We have to check this up and maybe we have to replace these as well. Let's look at the first one. And it's also more like a storm bolter. Doesn't really matter. Alright. Back into your bag. It would be also a question if we would if you if you could uh, actually put a third weapon onto those. Um, close combat weapon, combi bolter, and maybe put uh, a, a little melter or something on, on top, um, which the uh, original Saturnine Terminators had sometimes. So, yeah, I try to fix this again. Uh, also looking good. Um, and some of these, as I uh, have already said, you probably got to remove the purity seals for, for using them in heresy. But um, this is an advantage that they were actually cast and not printed because um, the, the printed uh, resin is usually like, a little more brittle or it's more like, like glass. It's harder and um, um, breaks uh, easier. And with the cast resin, it's easier to remove parts or cut them off. So this is the last of the guys. Again, there's a very good pose, a little bit more mobile than the other ones, or a little bit more in motion. Um, he has the power fist on his right side. Um, if I would go with Imperial Fists, um, maybe I would give him a shield if he has the close combat weapon in his right hand. But probably I'd just um, change the arm for uh, another weapon so that I could go... Um, um, more for the shooty weapon on the right hand. I'm, I'm a bit conservative there. I also exchanged um, on my... Um, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Castor... No, uh, Pollux. Alexis Pollux. Not, not Castor Pollux. Alexis Pollux. I also changed his, his uh, uh, left and right hand so that he would hold his shield in the left. But in general I would say really, really nice uh, miniatures. Very nicely designed, great detail, very well cast. Um, so I'm looking forward on what they are going to provide for us next. Um, maybe uh, that they, maybe I can, <coughs> maybe I can convince them to to actually uh, make more heresy style second line terminators. Saturnine, Sat Saturnine Terminators. All right, um, thank you for watching. Um, I think I will just dub the German version of this video. Um, if you are going to look at the website of them, I, well, actually I have to say I, I, I paid for these regularly. Um, I didn't get these for free or for, for advertising. I was just looking for, for Saturnine pattern terminators for for at least two years now, um, actually for, for ones that, that I think look convincing. And these are uh, the first ones. Uh, the ones I found for, for 3D printing um, didn't really convince me and I'm not able to make 3D drawings. Um, so um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with these and I think they will make uh, possibly great command squads or, or um, another type of heavy terminators for my horse heresy imperial fists army or maybe i'll change the no i won't but these have quite clear imperial symbols on them so they're going to be loyalists anyway All right um thank you for watching check out the heresy lab page um, on, on facebook um i think they also have a um a website um or, or, or called 40k proxy or something like that 
on Facebook. If I find them, I will put a link below this video. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, keep on hobbying. Bye bye.